is too good. Stay on there. Now, Merv's using the new Shimano Lacanis jig, and every time he drops it down on cue, he gets a snapper. So I went and got my squidgy soft plastic through this over the side, and Merv, what did it take? Two oh, seconds? Two seconds, if that. And this is just unbelievable to think that the snapper fishery has changed so much. We used to just use bait. Now those Lacanis jigs, just explain, Merv, because you picked them up for the first time three seconds ago. Explain how you work them. I just jig them. So you just let them hit the bottom. They're fairly heavy. So just let them hit the bottom, pull them off the bottom, let them drop back down, pull them up, and virtually every cast had a hit. And I think it'd be safe to say they're idiot proof. Yeah, mate, <laughs> if I can use them, they are idiot proof. It's just too good to think you can drop soft plastics, and there's a snapper in the background, no stress about that, we just let that one go, and it's having troubles writing itself, we'll sort that in a minute. Dropping these artificials to the bottom and nailing snapper on artificials. And the biggest trouble I find with people who don't catch snapper on soft plastics and lures is they don't try. And the one bit of advice I'll give you is try soft plastics, try Lacanus jigs, try anything. Because if you give it a go, Merv, you just never know. Yeah, that's right, mate. It is that's just right. out of control. Now, I'd like to see you land a big snapper. Oh. <laughs> He's getting smoked. Oh. And the outfits... on, on this light gear, you don't know how big they are because they, ah, they just they pull. fly above their weight, don't they? I was just going to say, the outfits on this sort of fishing is very, very light. I've got a little Fireblood 4000, Merv's got my Trinidad 12, 10 pound fins, new Fireblood right out of Japan, and it is just great, great fun fishing. You dropped him, mate. No, no, I got him there, I'm just on a bit of trouble with the line. <laughs> level. It's called a level line, but it's all good. you just got to keep laying that line level across the Trinidad. And uh, Merv's such a talent angler now, he knows when he's made a mistake and he can fix it. On, you're on again, mate. No, it's still the same <laughs> one. I've just kept in there, I've just kept in there. Oh, this is too good. Oh, I can see someone's fish, mate. Is that That's mine? Yeah. Here we go, there's my fish mine's coming up on the mine's plastic. Mine's off the bottom, yep. <laughs> and look at that for a snapper. Pagasaratus on a beautiful squidgy soft plastic, and that fish has got to be. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Don't move! Look at that, that fish has got to be five and a half kilos. And you can see the jig head just in the corner of the jaw there. Oh, I'll bring it up. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Oh, look at that, that could be, that's, that's actually bigger, Merv. This is six kilos plus. Oh, that's seven or eight, that one. Look at that, for a snapper on a soft plastic. And you can just see what's left of the jig head in there and his gob. Beautiful fish. And they said many years ago, you wouldn't catch these fish on lures. Well, guess what? I reckon they might have been wrong. That is just insane. I'm gonna just get this out. I'm gonna find my pliers. There we go. Oh. How you going there, Merv? Yep. He's hurting just... me, he's hurting me. We're getting there. The other great thing about catching fish on lures is you hook them in the mouth. You'll see this fish here. This jig head's just hooked in the mouth. They really swallow them. So technically, they're easy to get out. So if I give that a good pull, that's out now. And that's the jig head I was using there. Just half an ounce. Look what he's done to that hook. He's absolutely trashed it. That was straight when I started. And there's my snapper. Oh, here he is. Going back. I'll get rid of this one for you, Merv. Yeah. As That'll you bring yours color. up. As you bring your fish up, mine can go down. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, hang on, mate. I've got to get rid of the mess. The Lacanus jig in the corner of the jaw. That's a big fish. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a new record, I reckon. Come to Papa. That's it. Oh, don't let him spin that. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> you right? Yeah, I just can't get down. This fish okay, is a monster. I got you. I got you. you got me, mate? I got your fish. You got him? I got your fish. Oh, look at that. Oh, look oh. oh, yeah. out. I'm alright. You all right? Oh, he just got me. Look at that. I can't oh. lift him. Merv. He's a monster. <laughs> He's fighting still. Oh, he's a monster, isn't he? He's a beauty. <laughs> look at that. How big is that? Oh, just in the corner there. And look at that tiny Lacanus jig. They look just like an octopus or a squid. They come in a various range of sizes from about 20 grams through to two or 300. A lot of styles and varieties. I'm just gonna slide this fish down, mate, so I can try and get those hooks out. What a cracker snapper. And Merv, is that your biggest snapper or close to? Well, that'd have to be it. What's that, up to six, seven? Oh, he's about seven kilos, I reckon. It's just the weight of these I'm fish. I'm tipping eight. I'm look, going eight. Look how thick that fish is. Merv, dare I say it, he's <laughs> almost as thick as you. Beautiful fish. Let's it? put this back. Now, while I'm putting it back, can you please drop the lacanus down and show oh, people okay. just how easy this is? Just watch Merv in the background as this fish goes back. Oh, this is a pleasure. Just look at that fish, Michael. Wowee, snapper on plastics, snapper on lacanus jigs. Only way this won't work for you is if you don't give it a go. It's that simple. There goes our oh, fish. There you go. That's another great thing about using lures. If you use lures 
If you're hooked in the mouth, they release a lot better because they're free. They're just out there going whack, whack. Oh, I want to get away from this plastic. And they fight twice as hard too. Now, Merv, the pressure's on. Oh, oh, he had a bump. Can you do it? Can you do it? Come on, Merv. I believe in you, mate. I'll say to lie. I'm, I'm getting some newfound beliefs in my fishing today. <laughs> it's all about giving it a go. I think I need a new soft plastic. Oh, oh, oh no. it's close. It's close. Just keep working on it. No, yeah, he's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hang on, how does it go? Oh my! Oh, I'm gonna start the new Merv Hughes Appreciation Fan Club. Oh, how good is that? You've seen it, Lacanus jig in the water, another snapper. Merv, while you talk to the people at home, I might get a new soft plastic and have a cast. Okay, you do that. Take it away, Mervin from Bay 13. Well, the Lacanus, just every, every drop is just getting hit. And if they're not taking it the first time, they're coming back and grabbing it the second and the third time. Good sized fish, oh. Look at that. It seems a bit bigger, this one. Right, I've just gone for the number 69 lemon chicken. I'm gonna give that flick bait a go. Yeah. I'm just gonna flick over the top. Actually, you move up, yeah, mate. I'll just wait. jump in I'll the go. back of the queue here. Yeah. I just can't believe, could you have believed if I no. told you we'd catch this many snapper on lures? No. No, and not on something that ugly either. <laughs> Actually, but, we, we could call it the Hughes. <laughs> well. That's fat and ugly. That's and a chance. Just, and the thing that scares people are these small hooks. They've got oh. tiny little hooks, sort of hook you'd expect to catch a trout or yeah. a rim on, but they are tough as nails. Ooh, come on, Mervy! There's a few different techniques for using these lures as well. You can do what Merv's done and actually drop to the bottom and just lift up and down nice and slowly. The Japanese just like to do a slow retrieve all the way to the surface. Here, Here comes your fish, mate. There you can is. do another rig where you actually drop a line off the base of it and then slowly lift it up and off the bottom and back down again and again. And that works very effectively. Let's see how big this fish is, mate. He's a, he's a trooper. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh man! Oh. <laughs> he's bigger. He's actually bigger. <laughs> he felt bigger too, don't worry about that. Oh, um, oh. He is. You all right? Yeah. He's a horse. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> come, come around here, Merv. Come oh. and enjoy the spoils. Yes, mate. Look at that. Look at that. Well, again, this hanging out the gob. Merv Hughes, <laughs> Paul Worsling, Lacanus on the job, and you saw him drop it to the bottom and hook it. This is about as good as fishing gets. Oh, oh. I've done my back. <laughs> Find the <them> man. <laughs> so this is a Lacanus jig, and it's basically a weighted jig that looks a bit like an octopus crossed with a squid. It's got tiny little hooks, but they're super strong. And they come, of course, from the Japanese market because the Japanese know they're fishing. You've got two points. You can tie that point directly to your line. There's a second point there where you can actually run a dropper with a sinker. What Merv's been doing is just tying this to the line. Well, let's be honest, I tied it for him, but we won't get into that. Tie that on there with a simple blood knot. Spin it around about six times. And I was actually using a plastic, but Merv has been smashing fish on this, so I thought I would go with the flow. Quick blood knot. Attach that on, cut the tag down, and we are now ready to catch fish. So, let's go to the bottom. How long do you think it might take me, Merv? I reckon five seconds. Oh, five, that's a big call. Okay, the beauty of these jigs, they weigh a lot. So we're in 101 foot of water. We've got about six knots of tide, but I can get straight to the bottom. Once I hit the bottom, I've been watching the big fella. Just lift slowly, drop it down, lift slowly, and then you get a snapper. I just can't believe we're catching snapper on lead and plastic, mate. It's an amazing thing. Now let's see how we go here. I'm on the bottom because my line stopped coming off the spool. It's important when you're fishing lures, you understand where your lure is in relation to the line. So it's just a matter now of lifting and oh, I'm on. Look at that. Look at that. We've got five seconds. Uh, it didn't take five. You're a liar, Merv. Oh, how right. good is that? Lacanus jig, you saw it. <sighs> that is just out of control. They love them, don't they, Merv? Yes, they do, mate. Oh. Good fish too. And you've got another beauty coming up here. Oh, look at the size of that thing! <laughs> oh. I think these things are actually outfishing soft plastics. And bait. And bait, it is amazing. We've actually put the baits away because every time you drop these to the bottom, they just get nailed. It is Ooh. out of control. That's a good fish too. Oh, that's got to be up with a five kilo. <laughs> Have a look at the way he's attacked that. Merv, yes. maybe you could just take us through the origins of the Lacanus jig and how it was invented. Uh, Japan. I, I think the Japanese invented it because they know fishing. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought I said. Merv, you're a wealth of information. You 